Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Now, one of the clear ways of we actually restocking my fish tank and actually uh, changing my fish tank is by ensuring that I have a male and a female. Now, the other day I showed you where in which I got some demon sony, and it turns out that the demon sonies in which I got were both males, right? So what I did, I tried getting some adults, but these are the only Demon Sony and Manganos. Yes, I have three big Manganos male. Right? I am gonna be building a few tanks in the coming weeks. Uh so as to actually proper house them and you know get them to breed. But for the time being, I am gonna be placing the demon sony where it belongs. I do not want to put the water. This is my demon sony. Sorry, this is yeah, this is my demon sony, right? I'm gonna be putting my demon sony, it looks pretty. I'm gonna be putting my demon sony in container with some other demon sony. Now the difference between this demon sony and the ones in which I have is that they are like the main color. Color in which I have yeah. the difference between the male and the female is that the female is actually light in color. So I am gonna actually well it jumped in. I'm going to be placing it into this container with three other male mangano. Uh, you see how that one works out. Right? So I'm going to be pairing them off. Uh, during the next couple of weeks, you will see my setup breeding manganos and demon sony. Right? So I'm going to be placing the container now with the demon sony in the demon sony tank. Now the thing I should advise you is that uh, although both tanks are outside, right? Both tanks are outside. Uh, one is underneath the tree, one is a little bit out. I still have to acclimatize this fish to this section of the yard because the shade kind of adjusts the temperature and I do not want the fish to go into shock uh, whenever the fish goes into the tank. Right, so I'm here with some demon tuning, some manganos. I already have some chromites. I have some some asco fish. I have uh, some asco, some severum, and some other cichlids in which I honestly don't know what they are. Right, so I'm kind of changing out from my my fish stock from my normal. Uh, mollies and my 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 sword tail and my my um my mollies my sword tail and my guppies I, I i'm not giving them away i'm keeping them because i'm going to be having a tank a community tank with them but i am presently looking forward to actually uh keep some other stack of fish i think i might even end up get some peacock right it's a bigger um, fish now in the days I am um, plagued with the, the bees right and in the night I am troubled by the frogs but the thing about the bees is that um, it, it will actually prevent persons from actually coming here so as you can see my yard is not properly fenced as yet right so it actually prevents my my arm um, my heart from being my, my tongues it prevents my tongues from being um, invaded by persons right uh, points to know my chromite uh, there was a domestic dispute and my male chromite actually beat my female chromite to death and this actually occurred right after I took out the, the kids so i am not sure if that's the reason why all of this happened right i've been catching the frogs um in the nights and i've been placing them in well i've been locking them down um, squashing them out right as a result around this side of the yard have a little funny smell and they are about probably about an inch some of them are little uh, less than half an inch in size right so my fish stock is okay right now i don't think i am troubled with regards to that 
I might have to do some pruning of these plants very shortly but it's okay right I, I am actually just looking at my my fish stock as you can see the smaller fish actually hiding in the roots of the plant and the larger fish actually hovers at the base right and i'm doing some water change so i'm doing some water change so the the water level is low and the babies are a little bit more at risk at risk of being eaten by the adults right but they should be okay All right now this is my wild caught fish these fish were actually caught at the river right i actually went to the river with my net and i actually caught them they are very fast you, th you would think that um the sawtail is fast but these fish are so fast it's amazing right they, they are fast they move very fast for me to ca actually catch them i would have to let down the water very low so we have nowhere to run i am not really perturbed with regards to the cramps actually consuming them because they are really fast this is my koi and my goldfish pan right um not much activity here right now they, they laid again i actually saw the fries and I place it high up in the air, but I don't know what happened. I came about three days after after the fries have actually hatched, and it seemed as if something went in there and ate all the fries. I never saw not even one went on returning. So I am waiting on them to actually lay again, and this time I will take the fries inside the house. All right. It looks like an egg but it's not okay All right okay it's not so my filtration system is working out okay it's doing well I will not hustle myself in actually washing this this sponge or actually cleaning this filtration system because i need beneficial bacteria to actually grow in my filter box right filter container now uh, update on this pond it looks a little messy um it's 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 okay uh it's okay i just did about uh, six percent water change. I have some mollies and some sawtail in it so as to keep down the level of breeding of mosquitoes in it. I don't know if you can see, but in the corner there are several daphnes in the water. Right? So I don't not even have to feed the I don't have to, not even have to feed the the uh the, the, the fish in which I put in it. Right. I have about three plecos in it and three of them is about 14 inches in in length and they are doing okay right i i'm supposed to place a pump in it very shortly but have not gone around to do that as yet i have just done some water change on this tank i realized that a lot of algae was in the pond so i actually use my mesh to actually remove some of the the algae right uh, I remove some but I never remove all my sebum is in it and I'm, as I said before from a long time I'm not sure as to what kind of secret those fish are but what I can assure you is that uh, they are not eaten by their parents nor the other tank mates right uh, I took out about 42 babies 
and there's about probably about 10 more in there it's a little technical coming to get them out because as you can see this is a 280 gallon tote right so it's not all that easy filtration system is working okay similar to the one with the car pan the plants were actually removed that's the old plants which looks as if it was dead as if they were dead right okay now this is my okay this is my that empty tank it seems as if it's either they become vegetarian and eating the algae or they are on prayer and fasting because this is what mostly happens to the feed after a bit but um, you know seriously speaking one thing that you should know when regards to fish keeping is that the temperature of the water kind of determine when a fish actually consume right the colder the water is especially in the tropics is the less the feed less feed you should feed your fish right so here i have some of my i don't know if you can see them yeah, but these are some of my jack them see about 40 something of them in there okay it's been a very long while since i've actually cleaned like empty it and clean it in totality right i have some probably some uh five six inches uh more about mm, some extent i would say uh seven eight inches uh drop them in this pond right uh, the colors are very very nice i don't know if you can see but i can see you can see some green and yellow and you see the red on the top of the head and it's looking so nice i can't wait to get my my tank in which i can actually display some of these very same fish that i'm showing you right uh so that's it with me for this week uh the tree next door uh is usually shed leaf in my pond uh actually falling apart and some of it have actually been landing into the pond i think i've been doing a little water change with these this week i'm not doing all all 17 of them i might do probably about eight i've actually released some water in some of them already i, I think i did some last week right the demon sun should be ready to go in and it's in all right so the demon sony is in there's a two big demon zone in there and they should play nice oh, okay as i said before the wasps the bees are there and they help to keep my unwanted guests away a point to note uh regarding to fish keeping i've always tell you that i've always informed you i've always shared with you that plants will shed leaves and dead plants poses a problem within your pond okay but don't move them just yet what happened is that dead plants when break when broken down infusion actually occur now infusion are some single cell uh, i don't want to be incorrect but there are some very tiny microscopic um being that actually feeds on decaying plant litter so if you have a lot of fish like i do um and you have the opportunity to allow the plants to rot for a bit not in its entirety you can do that because the smaller fish will actually consume the infusion which actually comes from the the decaying plant and that's one of the reasons why i'm not so quick to actually jump and strip the plants of their of the dried stem or the rotten looking stem 
right i showed you during the course of the week i think it was monday when which i've actually gone to and i've actually stripped some of the plants right that video was actually done about a week or two ago and that will not be done again until probably that will not be done again until probably uh next two weeks because i do that every four weeks right and amazingly you know amazingly the, the the plants in which i have i have not gone to the river to replenish them because they have actually replenished themselves right so plants rotten rotten plants or decaying plants in your water actually aid in the production of food that fish actually consume right however too much of this can result in too much nitrates and nitrites in the pond or in the tank which is bad for your fish